and SM East, where I teach every Sunday. So this is an easy vinyasa class. I like it. I like to make it accessible for everyone, even for beginners who's starting to just uh, try yoga for the first time. Mas lalo ngayon wala masyadong gagawin sa house. So if you're a first timer, I urge you to listen to your body during the practice. If you feel you want to rest, you can rest anytime. And for those who have been practicing for a while now, I'll present some challenges as well. So, para hindi naman kayo mabore. <laughs> so, I'll give you options, both for beginners and for uh, regular practitioners. I won't be playing any music, so you can play any music you want at home. And, and just enjoy the practice. All right? So, I'll start. So if you're a beginner, you'll start with child's pose. So for everyone, we'll go with child's pose. You separate your knees as wide as your mat, lower hips down to your heels, and lower your head down. And just relax your forearms, relax your shoulders on the ground, lower your head down. So anytime during the practice, you can go here. This is your resting pose. So we'll begin with child's pose. Lower your head down, relax your arms, relax your back, relax your hips. And just start to focus on your breath. And be aware of how your breath flows into your body as you inhale and exhale. Just feeling the air passing through your nostrils and every in breath and out breath. Just take this time to settle down on your mats. Arriving here at this moment, present and mindful of everything happening around you. So take a few breaths here first. So observe your breath and gradually start to lengthen and deepen your breath. As you inhale deeply through your nose and exhale fully through your nose. Try to maintain this long, deep breath throughout the practice as much as possible. Then start to lift your head up. Begin to tense your fingers. Tenting your fingers and start to walk your hands forward, finding a long spine here. So you're starting to feel your arms active here. And stay for three breaths here. On the next breath, start to walk your hands toward the right side of your mat. Option to place your left hand on top of your right hand. Finding a stretch on the left side of your body here. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one, slowly walking your hands back to center. Again, finding a long spine, walking your hands forward. Stay for two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Then start to walk your hands this time toward the left side of your mat. You can place your right hand on top of your left. Finding a stretch on the right side of your body this time. And stay for five, four, three, 
two, and one. Walking your hands back to center. Just a couple of breaths here. Then start to walk your hands back, lifting your torso up. So we're going to our tabletop, moving through all fours. Finding your wrist on your shoulder, and your hands should be shoulder width apart. Knees under your hips, and separate your knees as wide as your hips. And first, find the long spine, looking forward, and as you inhale, begin to drop your belly down, so go up the top, moving to your cow. Then exhaling, rounding your back, shift your chest, moving to your cat. Inhale, belly down, so go up the cup. Then exhaling, rounding your back. Inhale, belly down, so go up the cup. Then exhaling, rounding your back. So then try to do three more of this at your own pace, moving mindfully. Trying to connect your breath with your flow. And after two rounds, we stay at neutral spine. Okay, beating everyone at neutral spine. Pressing your hands firmly, start to lift your right leg up towards the back. Make sure your right foot is pointing down, hugging your belly in, keeping your ribs firm. Start to lift, reach your left hand forward. Find your balance here, stay for three, two, and one. Take an inhale here, then exhale, connecting your knee and elbow round in your back, squeezing in, activating your core. Then inhale and stand forward, Exhale, connect your knee and elbow. Inhale, extend. Then connect your knee and elbow. Inhale, extend. This time, lowering your left hand down. Placing your right foot behind your left and sliding your left foot slightly outside. Start to lift your right arm up, moving to your supported side plank. Stay for five breaths here. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your right hand down and lower your knees down. Back to your people top. Doing that on the other side. This time lifting your left leg up. Pointing your toes down. Hug your belly in. Right hand reaching forward. Stay for three, two, and one, inhale first, then exhale, connect your knee and elbow, squeezing in, rounding your back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend. Lower your right hand down, left foot behind your right, sliding your right hand slightly outside. Left arm reaching up toward the ceiling. Support the side plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your left hand down, lower your left hand down, back to your tabletop. So start to tuck your toes, hands pressing firmly on the mat. Begin to lift your knee off the mat, letting it hover. Stay for a three, two, and one. Pressing on your left hand, keeping your knees afloat. Right hand reaching forward for a couple of breaths. Three, two, and one. Lower your hands down, lower your knees down. Rest. A couple of breaths here. Then start to tuck your toes and lift your knee up. Another three. Two, and one. This time your left hand reaching forward. Keep your knees afloat. Two, and one. Lower hands down, lower knees down, and rest. Again, a couple of breaths. Okay, begin to lift your knee off the mat again. Three breaths here. Two, 
And the one that dips up, downward facing dog. So press your hands down, just if you're pushing the mat away, lifting your hips up toward the ceiling. If your knees are, if your uh, hamstring is tight, you can bend your knees. Pressing your chest toward your thigh. And for the next five breaths, you can pedal your feet. Move your hips side to side, heels side to side, or hips down and up. Any movement you feel like doing to warm up your down dog. And after five breaths, stay still. Relax your head between your arms. Then start to lift your heels up and moving forward to your plank. So make sure your leg is fully extended, hips low but belly in. Broaden your shoulders, stay for a three, two, and one, hips up, downward facing dog. So moving to our plank close, as you inhale, do forward to plank. Then exhale, hips up. Do forward to plank, as you inhale. Then exhale, hips up. Last one, do forward to plank. And then exhale, lips up. Downward facing dog, couple of breaths. Two, and one. Start to walk your feet over the tops of your mat. This time, moving halfway lift. Keeping your back straight, lifting your chest up. Hands can stay on your shin or fingers on the floor. Inhale here, then exhale, folding forward. You can bend your knees generously. Then inhale, halfway lift again. Then exhale, fold, walking your hands toward your right side. Finding a twist here, stay for a three, two, and one. Back to center, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, walking your hands toward your left side. Stay for a three. Two, and one, back to center, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward and grabbing opposite elbows, relaxing your head. Start to sway side to side, relaxing your torso. Take more five breaths here. Four, three, two, and one, stay at the center, releasing your arms to the side, shift your chest, letting your arms bang loose. So we're going to roll up with your head coming up, last as slow as you can, shift your chest, and slowly roll up, and grab on your spine, bone by bone, head coming up last, sliding your shoulders at the back, palms facing to the front, feet flat on the floor, Belly in, hugging your butt in. Start to lift your arms up, reach up, inhale. Interlace both hands, index fingers out, arms by your ears. As you inhale, lengthen, then exhale, start to bend towards your right side. Opening your chest toward the ceiling, keeping your arms by your ears. Stay for five, four, three, Two, and one. Back to center, inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, bending towards your left side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, and inhale, palms together, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Moving to our half sun salutation. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep your arms up, reach up. Then hands your heart center, samasthiti. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Keep your back straight. Bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up, reach up. 
as your heart centers and last week. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, stepping your right foot back. This time you're lowering your right knee down. Then inhale, your arms up. And Janiasana. Then exhale, your hands down. Tuck your back toe and set your left foot back to plank. Lower your knees down, tops of your feet on the mat. Bend your elbow, chest down, scooping forward to low cobra. Keeping your chest up, inhale here. Then exhale, lower down, tuck your toe, sips up. Down your facing dog. Stay for three breaths here. Two. And one. Stepping your right foot forward. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step your back to left knee up. Step your left foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then sweep your arms up, reach up. Answer your heart center, Sagastri. Answer your side, Sagastri. Inhale, arms up, reach up, bend back. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Hands down, step your left back. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Up your back, so right foot steps back to plank. Lower your knees down, top of your feet on the mat. Bend your elbow, chest and chin down, scooping forward. This time, high cobra, keeping your elbows bent, lift up. Inhale, then exhale, tuck your toes, hips up. Downward facing dog. Stay for two breaths here. Two. And one. Start to step your left foot forward, lower your right knee down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step your back to right knee up, step your right foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, then lift your arms up, reach up. Hands your heart center, samastini. Hands your side, mountain pose. All right, moving towards Sri Namaskara A. So keep your feet together, toes touching, heels slightly apart. If your arms up, inhale. Then exhale, raise forward, fold forward. Halfway left. Exhale, hands down, stepping both feet back. Moving to your plank. So option here, for beginners, you can always lower your knees down if you need. You can even lift your feet up, crossing your Chins, then start to go all the way down, bending your elbow, keeping your elbow close to your side. Then inhale, pressing your hands, extending your arms fully, chest moving forward, shoulders away from your ears. You can even lift your knee up. This is your upward facing dog. Then exhale, tuck your toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Let's stay for five breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Start to bend your knees and look forward. You can walk. You can step your feet. One foot at a time. Or you can even lightly hop toward the top of your neck. So take any option from, the, from those three. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up, reach up. Hands your heart center, samastiti. Hands your side, tadasana, or mountain pose. One more round, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, or lie down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step both feet back to plank. Option to keep your knees lifted or lower your knees down, your choice. Start to bend your elbow, lower down completely. 
Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and look forward. Walk, step, or lightly hop over the tops of your neck. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up, reach up. Hands your heart center, samasthiti. Hands your side, now in place. All right? Moving to our Surya Namaskara B. Start to bend your knees, lower hips down. Fingers gracing the floor. Start to lift your arms up. Moving to your chair, Utkatasana. So weight should be on your heels, knees together, pull your knees back so you can see your toes when you look down. Inhale here, then exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, stepping both feet back to flex. Knees down, your knees up, bend your elbows, shifting your weight forward, chaturanga. You can hover here or go down completely. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time you're lifting your right leg up as you inhale. Then exhale, stepping your right foot forward between your hands, spinning your back heel flat, right knee spin, hips straight forward. Start to lift your arms up with katasana. Warrior one, sorry. So let's begin to hug your belly in, keeping your left butt here. Right knee moving forward, shoulders away from your ears. Palms together or apart. Stay for five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale your hands down. Right foot steps back to play. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Back heels flat, left knee bent. Keep your arms up. Bina Badrasana 1, warrior 1 on your left side. Stay for 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale your hands down. Left foot steps back. Bend the elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Start to bend your knees and look forward. Walk, step, or lightly hop. Over the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Start to bend your knees, lower hips down. Lifting your arms up, moving to your Utkatasana. Inhale here, then exhale, reach up. Hands your heart center. Hands your side. How are you guys? <laughs> All right. So for the next round of our Surya B, we'll be moving one breath and one motion. You're gonna flow. Bend your knees, sit slow, arms up, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step both feet back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, back to flat, right knee bent. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, hands down. Right foot steps back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, step it forward, back heel flat, left knee bent. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Right foot steps back. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down and facing dog. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Start to bend your knees to the floor. Walk, step, or lightly hop over the tops of your mat. Halfway left. Exhale, fold. Start to bend your knees, lower hips down. Arms up, pull it the inhale. Then exhale, reach up. Hands your heart center, Samasthi. Hands your side, Tadasana. So take this time to connect with your breath. You can towel off as well if you're sweaty already. As you move forward for the next practice, next, next round. All right? Start to bend your knees, sit slow, arms up. Moving back to your chair, staying here longer for five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your hands down. This time, your left foot is stepping back. Lower your left knee down. Reach your right arm up. Stay for a tree. Two. And one. Slowly using your core coming up, moving your twist. Stay here for a tree. Two. And one. With control, keeping your bend tight in. Start to press on your right foot and lift your left knee up, moving your high twist. Or both press and plunge. Stay for three. Two. Keeping your left knee lifted. And one. Then right arm moving forward, both arms up. Press and plunge. Stay for three. Two. And one. As you exhale, lower your left heel down. Right knee spent. Arms moving on both sides. Warrior two. So you can widen your stance, going deep to your right knee. Make sure you can see your big toe when you look down or not. Move your right knee out on the side. Shoulders are relaxed, but arms firmly reaching both sides. Gaze at your right fingertips. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one, flip your right palm, reaching forward, right arm up, reverse, reaching back, feeling the stretch on the right side of your body. So you can keep your left hand on your back leg or you can wrap it around, hooking to your right thigh. Three, two, and one, back to warrior two. This time, elbow lightly on your right side, Left arm sweeping over and up, over your head. Extended side angle, five breaths. So imagine yourself here as a diagonal line. So finding that energy from your foot, reaching up toward the fingertips. Three. Keeping your chest open. Two. And one. Slowly coming up, back to warrior two. Flipping your palm, reaching forward again, right arm up, inhale. Then exhale, hands to T, straighten your right leg, shorten your stance, reach forward, right hand down either to your shin, fingers on the floor, then left arm up. Five breaths here, here at Tikkunasana. So make sure your fingers are pressing down so you can open your chest more and reach back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand to your left hip. Start to bend your right knee. 
placing your right hand in front, maybe a foot away, so you can find more balance. When you start to shift your weight forward, lifting your left leg up. So you can stay here with your left hand to your hip, or reach your left arm up toward the ceiling. Keeping your left foot active by spreading your toes. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Start to lower your left foot down. Back to warrior two. Lifting your palm, reaching forward. Right arm up, inhale. Then exhale, cart with your hands down. Right foot steps back to plank. Bend your elbow, option here, vinyasa, or for others, you can head straight to your downward facing dog. So if you're moving to your vinyasa, vinyasa, chaturanga, upper facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Then lower your knees down, child's pose. Five breaths. Four. Three, two, and one. Lift your hips up. Back here, downward facing dog. This time, start to step your left foot forward between your hands. Lower your right knee down. Then left arm up, reach up. Stay for a tree. Two, and one, coming up to your low lunge twist. Three, two, and one. Start to hug your belly in, keeping your core engaged, and begin to lift your right knee up. High twist, stay for a three, two, and one, moving your left hand forward, both arms up. Crescent lunge, stay for three, two, and one. As you exhale, lower your right heel down, open your arms wide, warrior two. Again, widen your stance so you can go you know, deep to your left knee. Relax your shoulders, arms to the side, actively reaching both sides. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Flipping your palm, reaching forward, left arm up, reverse. Stay for three, two, and one. Back to warrior two. Then left elbow on your left thigh, right arm reaching over and up. Extend the side angle. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly coming up. Back to warrior two. With your palm reaching forward again. Inhale up. Then exhale. Straighten your left leg. Hands to T. Shorten your stance. Reach forward. Left hand down either to your shin or fingers on the floor. Then right arm reaching up and the Tadasana, the triangle. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly, right hand to your right hip. Bend your left knee, facing your left hand in front, and shift your weight forward, right leg up. Right arm reaching up as well. Let's stay for five, four, three, two, and one. With control, lower your right foot down at the back. And back to warrior two. Lifting your palm, reaching forward, reverse, inhale. Then exhale, cart your hands down. Left foot steps back. You can either go straight to your downward facing dog or vinyasa. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. And then lowering knees down, child's pose, five breaths. 
So breathe here. You connect with your breath. If your heartbeat is beating fast, try to slow it down. Hips up, downward facing dog. Then start to bend your knees and look forward. You can walk, you can step, or you can lightly hop over the tops of your mat. Halfway left, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sit slow, arms up. With katasana chair. Stay for three, two, and one, shifting your weight from your heels to your toes, with your heels up. Stay for three. Two, make sure you're breathing. And one, stay on your toes, extend up. Another three. Two. And one, hands to heart center, lower against there. So moving to our standing poses. Hands to your hips. So weight should be on your left leg. Start to feel your left side of your butt. Then begin to lift your right knee up. So first option here, you can just hold your right knee with your right hand. Keep your spine upright, keeping your belly firm and your ribs firm. Stay here for five breaths or you can grab your big toe, extend your legs forward. So whichever option you like, go there. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. From here, open your right knee toward the side. So if you're staying here with your leg extended, open to the side. If not, with your knees bent, open to the side. Then your left arm extends, gaze towards your left side. Stay for five, four, Three, two, and one. Hands to heart center. Gaze back at the center. Then placing your right foot either to your ankle, your shin, or your inner thigh. Anywhere away from your knees. Then hands to heart center. Moving to your tree pose. Stay for five. Four, three, Two, and one. Extend your arms up. Another two breaths. Three, two, and one. Hands to your heart center and lower your right knee down. Shake your legs. So hands to your hips again. Moving to the other side. Weight should be on your right foot. So start to feel your right side of your butt. Activating both legs, activating your right leg, lift your left knee up. Again, keep your spine straight. Chest up, belly here. So you can either keep your knees bent and your left hand holding your left knee. Or you can grab your big toe, extending your left leg forward. So each, either option, you can go there. Stay for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Whether your knees is bent or extended, open toward the left side. Extend your right arm, knees towards your right. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Gaze back at center, hands to your heart center. Placing your left foot either to your ankle, shin, or inner thigh. Hands to your heart center. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift your arms up, another two breaths. Three, two, and one. Hands to your heart center, and with control, lower left of that. Shake your legs. How are you guys? <laughs> okay, 
Separate your feet as wide as your hips or two fists apart. So start to lift your arms up. Inhale. Then exhale, begin to fold forward. Halfway there, flat back. This time you're grabbing your big toes with your two piece fingers. You can slide the bend your knee to knee. Halfway left, inhale. Then exhale, pulling using your biceps, elbows on the side, letting your head hang, and gaze between your legs. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Halfway left. So release your toes. This time you're slipping your palms under your feet. So make sure your toes would reach your wrist. Again, you can bend your knees generously as long as you need. Halfway lift first, then elbows on the side, fold forward. Again, five, four, three, two, and one. Halfway lift, hands down. Start to heel toe your feet out. So toes should be pointing on the side, begin to lower hips down, moving to your malasana squat. Hands your heart center, Jerry Mudra. Elbows pushing your knees out while your knees are pushing in, keeping your spine and legs, shoulders active. Stay here for five breaths. Four, three, two, and one, start to lower your hands down, lower your bum down. Knees together, feet together. Keeping your chest lifted, hands behind your knees. Start to lean back, if your knee up. Arms on the side, Navasana or both toes. Stay for five. Really engaging your core, keeping your core active, keeping your lifted. Three, two, and one, start to lower your feet down and hug your knees. Couple of breaths. Okay, going for round two, hands behind your knees, chest up, lean back, feet up, arms to the side. This time try to straighten your legs if you can. Again, keep your chest lifted, stay for five. Four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees. This time you're hugging your knees. Couple of breaths. Okay, last round. Hands behind your knees. Chest up. Lean back. Feet up. Arms to the side. Just for five. Four. Three, two, and one. You're gonna go down half bow. Keeping your legs lifted, keeping your shoulders up, moving towards your knee back, arms reaching forward. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down completely. Take a few breaths here. Then start to bend your knees. So make sure your fingers would reach your heels. And separate your knees as wide as your hip. So we're moving to our bridge. Start to press both feet down, pressing at the inner sides of your feet so you can activate your inner sides of your legs. So you should feel your legs squeezing in when you lift your hips up instead of opening on the side. So lift your, lift your heels up, press down on your feet. Stay here in your first bridge. Option to interlace your hands at the back. Palms together, squeezing your arms under your chest, lifting higher. For five, four, Three, two, 
And one, release your hands on the side, begin to lower it down. Your breaths here. Now two. Your feet on the floor. Start to press down on your feet. Lift your hips up. So take that option again. You can keep your hands on the floor or you can interlace. Lifting your chest up, chin to your chest. Let's stay for five. Four, three, two, and one. Begin to lower down again. Another couple of breaths. So for the third round, I'll give you option here. You can do another bridge for those doing or with their wheel. In their practice, you can place your hands behind. Or you, you can even try if you want. So the same thing, squeezing your legs toward the inside as you lift your hips up. This time, pressing your hands down, placing your feet on the floor. You can walk your hands and chest moving forward, lifting yourself up toward your wheel. So you can try to stay for five breaths here. But if you're not doing this, you can lower down and just do another bridge. So take five breaths each. So whichever option you're at, after five breaths, start to lower down. Then drop your knees together in the center, separate your feet as wide as your mat, arms to the side, hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. Relax here for five breaths. You can even close your eyes if you want. And then now you release your chest. Start to rock side to side, massaging your back. And start to rock forward and back. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, moving the seat and extending both legs straight. Again, spread your toes, keeping, keeping them active. Keeping your chest lifted, spine straight. Lift your arms up, reach up, inhale. Then exhale, folding forward. Paschimottanasana. So you can place your hand either on the tops of your feet, on the sides of your feet, or hands on the floor. If you cannot reach your feet yet, you can bend your knees. You can even hug opposite elbows under your knees, keeping your chest close to your thigh. And breaths here. So gently release, chest up. Open your feet wide. If you need to bend your knees, you can bend your knees. For some, it's still tight. And then interlacing your hands at the back. Palms resting behind your neck. So you should not be pushing your head forward. It should just be lightly behind your back. So, hug your belly in. Then start to bend forward. Again, it's not mandatory that you touch the floor. Just keep your back straight. Let your chest lead you down toward the floor. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift your chest up, lift your torso up, lower your heads down on the side. Start to bend your right knee. So this is like a tree earlier, what we did. Placing your right foot inside your inner thigh. Right hand behind your back. Right hand. Left hand to your right knee. You're just twisting. So chest moving toward the right side. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. 
and one. So slide your right hand close to your right bum with your left arm up. So you're going to press on your right shin, press on your right hand to lift your hips up. Push your hips forward, left hand reaching towards the back. Three breaths. Two. And one. Lower your hips down. This time lifting your right knee up. Placing your left hand to your right shin. Left elbow against your left thigh. Chest facing toward the right side. Right arm up. Then start to reach towards your left toes. Again, it's not mandatory to touch your toes. Just focus on your chest opening and compressing on your left side. Five breaths here. But for some, if you can reach your toes, then better, as long as you can keep your chest open. Three, two, and one. Slowly back to center. Extend your right leg. Doing that on the other side. Hands behind your head. Lightly. Inhale here. Then exhale, leading by your chest. Fold forward. Again, five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly coming up. Hands on the side. This time you're bending your left knee. Left hand at the back, right hand to your left knee. You're just twisting towards your left side. Recover your left shoulder. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Placing your left hand beside your bum, right arm up. Again, you're pressing on your left shin this time. Your right foot can either stay on your heel or you can flatten your right foot down. Lift your hips up, push your hips forward, right hand reach the back for three, two, and one. Lower your hips down. This time lift your left knee up. Right hand to your left shin, right elbow inside your right thigh. Try to push your right elbow in so you can open your chest more. Left arm up. Again, then reach toward your right toes. Again, option to touch your toes if that's available to you or you're just flexible enough. And stay for three, two, and one. Slowly coming up. Hands on the side. Extend your legs. Both hands at the back. So your fingers should be facing forward. Then start to lift your hips up. And stay for three, two, and one. Lower hips down. Feet together, Baddha Konasana. So keep your Baddha Konasana active by pressing the soles of your feet. And start to spread your fingers, your toes as well. And then lower down. Five breaths. Four, three, two, and one. Lift your head up. Move your feet further to the front, creating a diamond shape within your legs or two palms apart. Then start to slip your forearms under your shin, curling your back this time, forehead to your feet. Again, keep both feet pressing together. Five breaths, four, three, two, and one. Lift your head up. Okay, extending your legs to the front. Keeping your Badakonasana. Try to hold your feet from under, interlacing your hands. Then finding balance here, lifting your feet up. Stay for three, two, and one. Begin to round your back, lying down on your back. So just rolling here, and then pressing your feet toward your chest. 
Three, two, and one. Holding the outer sides of your feet. Open up the head of your happy feet. So pulling your feet down, knees toward the ground. Try to place or feel your lower back grounded on the floor. Then begin to rock side to side. For five breaths. We have to be. We're almost done. Two. And one. Start to lower both feet down on the floor. This time placing your right foot on top of your left knee. Then interlace your hands under your left knee or to your shin, and then pull in toward your chest. So just one modification here. For some, they would lift your hips up moving forward. This time, try to ground your tailbone, pressing your tailbone on the floor while you pull yourself in. So it's a different engagement. Five, four, so you're pushing your tailbone down while you pull in, two, and one. Lower your left foot down, extending your left leg, hugging your right knee into your chest. Squeeze it in, then using your left hand, bringing your right knee toward the left side. Finding a twist. Then your right arm extending towards your right, gaze at your right thumb. Five breaths. Four. Three, two, and one. Back to center. Hug your right knee in, then hug your left knee in as well. Rocking side to side. And then lower both feet down. This time your left foot on top of your right knee. Interlace your hands under your right knee or your shin. Again, another modification for this one. Press your tailbone down as you pull your right knee in. Instead of lifting your hips up. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Releasing, extending your right leg, hugging your left knee in. Inhale here, then using your right hand, bring your left knee towards your right side. Extending your left arm, gazing towards your left. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Back center, hugging your left knee in. Then let your right knee follow, hugging it in as well. Hugging as tight as you can, take a deep inhale here. Then exhale, open your mouth, and release. So allow your feet to play on the side, arms on the side. This is our final pose, Sri Shabasana. So you can stay here, you can stay here for three minutes or five minutes. And since you're at home, you can stay as long as you want. Don't see much. <laughs> so this would be the end for me. Thank you for taking time to practice with me. So you can stay in your shavasana as long as you want, or you can sit up your meditation if you want as well. So thank you for practicing and hope you stay home. Namaste. Thanks, Purple Warriors, Purple Champs. I hope you enjoyed the practice.